Today is a, a very special day because it is the very first time we will be going to the outlets ever since the sort of like quarantine lockdown hit. What's going on guys? It's your boy Christian here back at you for a brand new vlog on Sneaker Talk and today I'm so excited to go back to this place. We're going to be going to Dixie Outlet Mall today where they have the Nike outlet, they have the, uh, the Foot Locker outlet there as well. I'm excited because you guys know when it came to outlets and, and sneaker stores in general, they obviously all pretty much shut down um, once the quarantine lockdown period hit. So I have no idea what to expect from the outlets. One thing I do know, however, is that uh, we might have a small lineup before getting in there because of uh, the, the maximum store capacities that stores can have. But with that said, quick fit check before we get going to the outlets. We have this uh, Gundam X Unique Low T, Adidas shorts as well. And then I forget the exact name for these. I think these were the Cityscape, but we got the Adidas ZX Flux uh, Cityscape, which matches with my Gundam T and the aesthetic pretty well. We also got this like a uh, special DIY vape dog tag. So it kind of makes sense to wear a dog tag, a vape one at least, with this uh, Gundam tee. Because if you don't know Gundams, it's part of the whole point. Um, but yo, let's get going to the outlets. Alright, so we just made it to Dixie Outlet Mall. And uh, my sister, I swear, my sister stole my wardrobe. Check out her outfit. She uh, she has a Gundam t-shirt from Uniqlo, which she apparently just picked up the other day on sale. But then, but then she even has the pine green ones on feet too. What? <laughs> what? Who is this? Oh, did you shrink all my clothing? Or I mean, the t-shirt's the, the, the same size, but like, it, you literally size. steal all my clothing. I hate you. But yeah, I just realized it's like middle of August or August 21st, I believe. It's back to school season for a lot of American kids. And I know back to school season starts for uh, some Canadians as well. We're going to call this a little back to school Nike outlet vlog. So if you guys are going back to school, probably not really buying as much clothing or shoes this year because let's face it, there's not going to be as many in-person classes. Um, but yo, let's let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find for your back to school season. So about to chow down on some Bourbon Street Grill. I haven't had like food court uh, food in a long, long time, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. My sister actually stopped by, or she saw the lineup to get inside a Full Locker outlet. How long was the lineup? It was like four or five. Okay, that's not bad because when I've seen Full Locker on Young Street, there's usually like a lineup of 10 to 15 people to get in. So I was expecting more at the Full Locker outlet, but it is like a Sunday afternoon, so hopefully Nike isn't that bad. I feel like Nike is gonna be really bad when it comes to lining up to get inside, but crossing my fingers, it won't be that bad. All right, so uh, some bad news. We're gonna have to turn this Nike outlet vlog into a Foot Locker outlet vlog because there is a two hour lineup to get inside of the Nike outlet right now. They said that on weekdays, it's usually an hour to an hour and a half, but my nose is so big, bro. But uh, but yeah, it's a two hour lineup to get inside of the Nike outlet. That's not happening today. The Foot Locker outlet on the other hand though, they only had like a five person, six person lineup. So that's better than two hours. Full Locker Outlet, I miss you dearly. Let's get inside you and see what you have. First up, they had two different vans in store for $30. They had these burgundy skate highs along with these blue and green old schools and the old schools retailed for $105. They were from the Anaheim Factory Collection and uh, yeah, so now they're $30 down from $105, but damn, 105 retail for a pair of uh, old schools, that's a lot of money. Next up, we have a couple pairs of Converse that they had. These were $30. These were like a two-tone denim Chuck Taylor. They had them in a high cut form and they also had them in the low top version as well for also $30. Some more $30 chucks we had the Converse Chuck Taylor in the uh, high top white flame colorway. These are actually uh, pretty fire, I gotta say, but I'm, I'm pretty past having flames on my shoes at this point, but for $30, pretty good price point. They also had these Chuck Taylor Lowe's, the WWE, the man collab. These were going for 50 Canadian dollars and they had them in an absolute ton of sizes. The last time we were here, they were going for $100. Next up, we'll take a look at the boots that they had. Now they had so many boots. So if you were looking for boots for the fall winter season, definitely want to check out your local Full Locker outlet if you have one in your area. However, I'm just going to show you a 
couple of my favorite Tims that they had, but again, they had so much other uh, boots available. So first up, we have these for $100. They're these dark burgundy leather six inch Tims. And for $100, man, this is a really, really great pickup. Next up, we have these eight inch Timberlands. That's right, eight inch Tims. I had no idea that they made these and these were going for $100 as well. I would much rather prefer the six inch Tims because that's just the style I'm familiar with. But if you wanted two extra inches, you you could you could get them for $100. Besides that, they had two different NBA collaborations with Timberland. They had this Laker colorway for $100. They had these the last time we were here. And then they also had these Celtic ones for $100. These were not available the last time we were here. So they have the Boston Celtics logo on the tongue. You, of course, have the Lucky 3-Leaf Clover on the backside, debossed into the new buck. Next up, we're going to take a look at the clothing. But I really didn't see uh, too much that caught my eye and most of the stuff was for fall and winter and I pretty much have my wardrobe set for the next couple of months but uh we'll just quickly show you guys what they had in terms of clothing with some background music and I'll be right back perfect Taking a look back at the sneakers, these are a couple of sneakers where they only have like one to three sizes of each. So these are like the last chance, as you could say. Here we have the uh, Puma LQD Cell, and uh, these are going for $50. And if you actually take a photo of these with some sort of app, I believe, uh, maybe Snapchat, you can turn these little like QR code things on them into flames, and it's pretty sick. It's, I've seen it online. I'll try and find a photo for you guys. I think the Star Life did one. Next up, we have the Air Max 270 Reacts. This is a sneaker that is all over the Nike outlets that we were not unfortunately uh, able to get into. But these were going for $80. This is the Pop Art colorway. They also had these Adidas Ultra Boost. Now, Ultra Boost are at an all time low in terms of sale pricing. So if you were looking for them, uh, unfortunately, the Foot Locker outlet only had this colorway, sort of this like American US. USA colorway, but if you want some pretty solid colorways, check out your local Full Locker, your Champs, your Adidas store. There's a lot of Adidas Ultra Boost on sale right now. It's probably the best time ever to buy. And I'll leave links in the description down below too uh, if there's some on sale online right now. Next up, we got some Nike Blazer Lows. These were going for $70. Regular retail price was $100, so only 30% off. And they only had one size, size 12. Next up, we have another colorway of the Nike Air Max 270 Reacts, a sort of black, red, and gray colorway. These were going for a hundred bucks down from whatever retail price, which which was probably like 220 or 250, I think. Um, but yeah, they only had size 9.5 for these ones. These look pretty good though. We also have the uh, I, I forget the exact name for these ones. There's some weird Air Max 720, uh, Ispa maybe kind of colorway. They're really bizarre. The box was really cool looking, and they only had like two sizes. The retail price for this pair was 250 dollars, and now they're dropped down to a hundred bucks. Besides those, we got some Nike Air Harachi types and. Uh, this is a sneaker I've seen at like Foot Action and Nike on sale uh, many times for like $50 and they were also $50 at the uh, the Foot Locker outlet. These were only in size 8. Then we also have the Nike Daybreak for $100. This is sort of like some denim colorway that they did. Next up we have the Nike uh, Shocks. This is I think the Vince Carters and uh, I've seen these on sale at Foot Action for $100 in men's sizing. However, they only had sizes 6 to 7.5 for these and they were going for $80. Next up we have some more Nike type pack sneakers. They got those off-white vibes. And this is probably the worst sneaker that they did from the pack. I actually bought a pair for full retail price, expecting to review them, and then I just wasn't feeling them and I let them sit and collect dust. And now, now these are on sale for $50 Canadian. And they only had size 13 for these. Checking out some of the kids and women sneakers. We have these Adidas Oz Wegos for $50, size 7.5 women's. We also have these really dope Reebok sneakers. This is the uh, the Reebok Classic right here. I think it's a special anniversary version too since they have a 1985 tag on them. And these are size women's 8.5, so that's a uh, seven men's.
10s or 7 youth. These were going for $50, a really, really great pickup. And then the best Nike sneaker I saw in the women's section were these Nike Air Max 97s, this red colorway, really, really nice cherry red going for $100, down from, I think, $220. Uh, they only had one size left, size 6 women's, which would be a uh, four and a half youth. All right, over to uh, what I think is probably one of the best sneakers at the Foot Locker outlet today. We have the Converse ERX 260. These were regularly priced at $110, and these were now going for $50. They had a lot of sizes too, and they also had them in the uh, the beige gray colorway, which I also bought a few months ago, actually. I bought them for slightly under retail online, so it hurt to see these on sale. So I ended up buying uh, a ton of these. As you guys can see, we cashed out, and I spent about $600 here at the Foot Locker outlet. We bought 10 pairs of shoes and some clothing, which I'll show you guys at the end of the video. Next up, we stopped by Boathouse because, uh, well, Nike still had a two hour long lineup and Boathouse is sort of like a West 49, Zoomies, sort of like a skate shop. However, they didn't have any skateboards or any decks or anything like that. They just had lots and lots of apparel and sneakers. And I think they're doing like a going out of business sale because pretty much all the stuff was getting cleared out of the store. So they had this rack for uh, Vans and they were all $20 each, which was a really, really fantastic price, especially if you're trying to flip a pair or two. So here were my favorites. And then I'll show you guys the pairs that I ended up buying at the end of the video. Okay, that was a bad idea. We ended up buying 10 pairs of uh, sneakers from Full Locker, and then we went to Boathouse and I bought a bunch of Vans as well. So in total, we spent about 700 or $800 today because I also bought a t-shirt and a, a pair of denim from Levi's, or a pair of denim. I bought some denim from Levi's. This is another big like sneaker investment kind of day. As you guys know, I, I also resell some shoes on the side. I usually like to buy low, sell high, and going to outlets and finding these so-called bricks. First off, we'll start off with the Full Locker pickups. We ended up buying 10 pairs of shoes. Well, you can. You don't have to stay so still. You can. You can follow me with the camera okay. too. It's not, you're not a tripod, Natty. We ended up buying. A <laughs> no, what are you doing? Come on. Pick one. No. <laughs> there you go. So we ended up buying five pairs of the black pair and five pairs of this neutral gray, which I kind of I kind of hurt a little bit on the inside when I saw these prices because I actually paid about $15 under retail for one of these shoes. Here's the black pair right here. These are the uh, Chuck Taylor 1970 E260s or ERX 260s, as you can see with the, uh, the tongue tag right here. I'm a huge fan of the sneaker. The reason I think these ended up on sale at Foot Locker, even though they sold out at other sneaker retailers like Haven and Capsule, is because this is a kind of shoe that most people who shop at Foot Locker wouldn't typically buy or gravitate towards. People who mostly shop at Foot Locker are really into more athletic sneakers and when they go there for Converse, they're pretty much just looking for a regular kind of Chuck Taylor. So this is a more of a high fashion kind of Converse you could say, not as classic as a regular Chuck Taylor. These ended up being, I think, 50, the camera's like, I can't, it's heavy. Sideways. Use two hands. Don't use one hand. Use I'm two. using two hands. You, you know, you're using your whole. It's holding. heavy. It's because I'm holding it up. If I was holding like this, it'd be easy. But I can't film like that. Exactly. A tripod right here. No, I need you. <laughs> but Natty, I need you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I need you to be my camera woman right now. Come tore, on, man. Torn out here. You use two hands. You, you like lock it in. You like, you know. Retail price for these right here. Uh, was $110. They brought them down to $50. Bought five pairs of the black pair. Then we have the pair that I actually bought for myself, the Heather Gray or Gray colorway. Sort of has some beige cream action going on. These are also the same price, $50 down from $110. These didn't end up selling out at Full Locker. I thought they sold out, but it turns out all the Full Lockers just shipped them to the Full Locker outlet. So I ended up not buying every single pair. I left behind, I think, 15 pairs as well of the black and of these colors, uh, this colorway combined. Champion sweatshirt t-shirt right here. Just this basic gray, it's a reverse weave and it was $20 down from, I believe, 60. This will be nice, this will be cozy and comfy and I expect Natty to steal it a bunch as well. Levi's denim that was on sale at the Levi's outlet. These were regularly priced at $70, as you can see with the tag. 
and we got them for half price. So 35 bucks, these are the uh, 512, 512, 512 uh, Slim Taper. Next up, we have the Boathouse pickups. So let's get to those right now. Uh, we ended up buying a few different pairs of Vans because they were all $20. This is the all over logo print on the Authentic, I believe. And these were actually designed by a fellow sneaker sort of head influencer person in the industry, Ray Palenco Jr. And uh, yeah, he also did this in a black colorway too. The thing is with these, uh, all these Vans were pretty much only size 11. They, it was just like a size 11 Vans clearance. So grab these for $20, probably gonna sell these for 60 to 70. We basically bought three pairs of these for the price of one, which is really good. We got a pair of Supras. Now Supra is pretty much out of business now. They were bought out by another company, the same one that owns K-Swiss, and they're just getting rid of the Supra brand, which is really sad to hear. Um, but yeah, I decided I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just buy it for the culture. We got some Supra Vaders right here. One of the classics besides the Supra Sky Top in this simple Simple red colorway and uh, I want to wear this as like a, a beater sneaker pay homage to the brand that really got me into collecting sneakers in the first place super footwear and this is such a classic kind of Vader colorway I was thinking about selling these because I could probably sell them for about a hundred make sixty dollars but buying these for 40 for personal seemed like the better plan because I felt like I'm never gonna find supers for this cheap again all right next up we got some more vans these were also $20 size 11 these are the skate highs with the red blue and yellow checkered board print really out there but for $20 seemed like a good price I'd probably sell these for 60 to 70 70 on the higher end 60 is more likely so $40 profit for these then uh, we got a second pair of those so we got two pairs of those and then down here we have uh, th three pairs all right so we bought three pairs three pairs of these all size 11 here's the other pair of the other uh, red van thank you guys for watching if you made it to the end of the video comment down below your favorite sneaker that you saw today and we will actually be streaming live on twitch tonight maybe with my girl natty behind the camera twitch.tv slash sneaker talk ca we're going to be doing a ps4 giveaway very soon i'm going to give away my personal ps4 that has been collecting dust for over a year now thank you guys for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video and catch you guys over on twitch and uh, maybe later live on youtube here as well well, see you then. Peace out. Wow. Those muscles. Damn, you're so strong.